Mental Health Book, written and published by N. Gaslife. Pain is often described as an unpleasant sensation or feeling that can indicate harm to the body. It acts as the body's innate alarm system, notifying us of potential dangers or the necessity to take steps towards recovery. However, pain can be divided into two main types, physical and mental. Physical pain occurs when nerves are activated due to an injury or health issue. The sensation can range from sharp and throbbing to stinging or dull. Physical pain typically has a clear location and cause within the body. The nervous system are what cause it. Physical pain usually decreases as tissue heals. Mental pain is associated with psychological or emotional distress rather than physical discomfort. It arises from various conditions such as anxiety, depression, trauma, grief, or stress. The discomfort is genuine, but the original cause is more emotional than physical. Loss, rejection, guilt, loneliness, and helplessness often stem from similar sources. The brain's limbic system, responsible for managing emotions and behavior, is connected to mental pain. Physical manifestations can occur, such as headaches or stomach aches. However, the main problem revolves around how the mind reacts to difficult thoughts or experiences. There is an interaction and mutual influence between both types of pain. Dealing with chronic physical pain can often result in emotional challenges. Physical discomfort can sometimes be a manifestation of emotional distress. Both aspects need to be addressed for effective pain treatment. Although pain can be intricate, gaining knowledge about its origins can be empowering. We can create coping strategies that are customized based on whether the discomfort is caused by physical damage or emotional processing. Understanding the complexity of pain helps us build resilience. Discomfort can arise from physical injury or illness. However, many times our most profound pain arises from the emotional scars that reside within our minds. Painful experiences such as trauma, loss, regret, anger, and doubt can deeply affect our emotional well-being. Healing can start by delving into our origins. Unprocessed traumas from our past can continue to affect us for a long time. Suppressing painful memories only serves to keep their power intact. However, by exploring and articulating these experiences in secure environments, we can effectively navigate through trauma. Grieving can be a difficult process when we don't allow ourselves the necessary time and space to heal from the loss of our loved ones, whether it be through death, separation, or broken bonds. Through the practice of rituals and the act of sharing memories, the intensity of pain gradually diminishes. Countless individuals bear deep remorse for past deeds that continue to burden their conscience. However, there are ways to ease regret by practicing self-forgiveness, making amends, and living with purpose in the present moment. If we don't address the source of our anger, it can have a negative impact on our mental well-being. Healing from pain involves dealing with unfairness, letting go of grudges, and recognizing the humanity in those who have hurt us. Ultimately, the struggles we face, such as doubt, low self-worth, and loneliness, arise from a disconnection with our inner light. However, when we acknowledge our intrinsic worth and meaning, we uncover a steadfast wellspring of love deep within us. Mental anguish arises from the narratives we create within our minds. Whereas physical pain stems from bodily factors, through the process of uncovering and rewriting our internal narratives, we have the power to alter the course of our lives. Understanding the origins of our pain helps to diminish its hold on us. Healing can be found there. Lesson 1. Don't emotionalize trouble. Don't overreact. By detaching from melodrama, you gain the ability to respond in a rational manner. Dealing with meltdowns and panic attacks can be mentally exhausting. They hinder the ability to take effective action and make informed decisions. Keeping a calm demeanor helps you stay in control of your thoughts and actions. Keep in mind that you can always choose how you perceive situations. 
You have the option to either magnify and intensify troubles by adding emotional elements, or you can simplify the situation and focus on the essential facts. According to Shakespeare, things are not inherently good or bad, but our perception determines their nature. By removing the emotional lens, you gain a clearer and more objective perspective. Challenges can be approached as puzzles to solve or chances to unleash your creativity. Solutions become apparent when we eliminate distortions and exaggerations and rely on logic and clear thinking. Learn to take a moment to collect yourself when feeling upset, rather than letting your emotions take control of your thoughts. Take a moment to relax, step back, and approach the situation with a clear and logical mindset. With practice. Staying calm in tough situations becomes easier. You have the ability to stay composed and have the necessary resources to respond in a thoughtful manner. Find inner peace and wisdom that will lead you to positive outcomes instead of feeling anxious. By maintaining a calm and composed mindset, you can avoid unnecessary distress. Why bother with the unnecessary burden of amplifying your worries in your mind? Focus on implementing practical solutions. Understanding reality is often less daunting than the turbulent thoughts we create. By consistently adopting this mindset, anxiety will gradually lose its hold. When faced with future challenges, it's important to approach them without letting emotions cloud your judgment. Remain calm. Remove the unnecessary drama from challenges and respond thoughtfully. You'll be able to navigate any challenges with greater speed and tranquility. Overreacting can put you in a less favorable position. Intensely negative emotions may affect your capacity to reason clearly and make wise decisions. Excessive reactions deplete valuable mental energy that is necessary for thoughtful and effective responses. Keeping a calm demeanor helps maintain clarity of thought. Many times, our strongest overreactions come from seeing things in a way that is not based on reality. Most situations are actually more manageable than they initially seem once you remove the mental filter of exaggeration. Reacting excessively only magnifies disturbances and weakens effective solutions. Develop the habit of taking a moment to step back and detach when you sense an emotional overreaction building up. Prevent fueling the fire. Take a moment to pause, take a deep breath, and approach the situation with a rational mindset. Consider whether a strong reaction is truly necessary or beneficial in this situation. With practice, one can develop self-control and resilience. You prevent destructive overreaction patterns, saving your emotional energy. Responding in a mindful manner becomes a habit. You have the ability to control your reactions and reduce unnecessary suffering. Certainly, moderation is crucial. Being stoically calm doesn't imply being indifferent. There are instances when it is completely understandable and natural to express strong emotions. However, dealing with everyday challenges requires a calm and rational approach. Conserve your energy for the most significant moments in life. When you encounter frustration, just take a moment to stop and collect yourself. Prevent overreactions from taking control. Remain calm and collected when dealing with minor issues, and you'll be better equipped to handle major challenges while keeping a wise and balanced perspective. Your mindset affects the outcomes you get. Lesson two: Anger is like drinking poison. Worry is like waiting for execution. Feeling angry can often feel like a natural and justified response in the heat of the moment. However, harboring anger is akin to consuming poison and hoping others will be affected. Understanding the harmful effects of anger can help you prioritize your well-being over any potential harm it may cause. Regret and exhaustion follow the initial burst of rage. Reacting emotionally can provide a momentary sense of satisfaction. However, the consequences of your actions can negatively impact your well-being, health, and relationships. Understanding and managing emotions is crucial for clear thinking, optimal performance, 
and accessing higher wisdom. It promotes hasty decision-making and limited perspectives. Outbursts that are intended to assert control often end up having the opposite effect, which can compromise your integrity and authority in the eyes of others. Instead of getting upset, take a moment to think before responding. Direct that level of intensity towards logical problem solving. Transform your anger into constructive action rather than reacting destructively. It is often said that speaking when angry can lead to a speech that one will later regret. There are always more effective alternatives to anger. Practicing patience, empathy, engaging in discourse, and finding compromise are all important aspects of taking the high road. It's important to consider the long-term consequences before giving in to the temporary release of venting anger. According to Lao Tzu, it is important to use your intellect to manage yourself. Use your heart to handle others. Anger can have a negative impact on your relationships, leading to feelings of distrust, resentment, and hostility. It makes loved ones walk on eggshells around you, afraid of triggering you. Anger can lead to distancing oneself from others, resulting in increased isolation and conflict. So the next time you experience anger, acknowledge it as a harmful emotion. Avoid consuming it. Don't share it with others. It's important to consider the impact on the environment and your health. Take a moment to pause. Step back and reconsider how to respond with your utmost wisdom and integrity. Let go of anger and start improving your life right away. Excessive worry can feel as though one is awaiting execution. Both mental states can cause a great deal of fear and worry. However, although the possibility of execution is genuine, the catastrophe we often fear rarely materializes. Worrying causes our minds to constantly cycle through hypothetical scenarios. We often find ourselves deeply concerned about the most unfavorable outcome. However, disasters rarely occur in the way or at the time we anticipate. Our worries can often be blown out of proportion due to irrational thought patterns. By letting go of our preconceived notions and biases, we often find that many of our fears are actually quite unlikely. The awaited execution seldom occurs. Certainly. It is important to be well prepared for any potential concerns. However, excessive worry extends well beyond problem solving and into unproductive distress. It drains our energy, hinders us from taking action, and prevents us from fully experiencing the present moment. Worry can actually lead to self-fulfilling prophecies. What you consistently concentrate on is what your mind brings into reality. Spending too much time worrying about a problem only makes it more likely to happen. It would be more productive to focus on taking positive steps. By shifting our focus and gaining a new outlook, many concerns appear insignificant. The awaited execution is disappointingly filled with an overwhelming barrage of metaphors. Actually, we have been given the sentence of life rather than death. Keep in mind that worrying only makes suffering last longer and multiply. Be mindful when you find yourself in a negative thought pattern. Focus your attention on the present moment. When we take action, remain calm. And practice gratitude. Anxiety begins to loosen its grip. Living in the present is crucial. Put worry on hold and truly embrace life. Lesson three: Dealing with haters. There will always be people who criticize when you choose to stand out and pursue big goals. However, the way you choose to interact with individuals who criticize you reveals your true nature and impacts your overall sense of tranquility. When you respond in a skillful manner, the negativity loses its power over you. When dealing with someone who criticizes you, take a moment to consider if their feedback holds any merit. If that's the case, accept responsibility in a mature manner and view it as a chance to grow and better yourself. Nevertheless, many critics tend to express their negativity based on their own personal resentment, rather than any actual shortcomings on your part. 
instead of taking their attacks personally. It's important to recognize that haters often feel envious of the qualities you possess that they lack, such as drive, confidence, and success. Their bitterness is a reflection of their own shortcomings, not yours. Remember this to prevent falling into traps. Change your perspective and see haters as insignificant when you don't give them your attention. They enjoy provoking emotions, much like schoolyard bullies. Without this, their criticisms lose their impact. Be resilient. Don't let their negativity affect you. Stay resilient and let it roll off your back. Reacting with anger or defensiveness only empowers haters more than they deserve. Staying calm and composed neutralizes their attacks. Be kind and patient with them. Keeping yourself centered helps maintain your inner strength and sense of self. Worth. Certainly, establish boundaries as necessary. You are not obligated to tolerate any form of mistreatment. Assert yourself and then withdraw. It is important to remove certain toxic elements for the sake of your well-being. However, it's usually best to disregard haters. Don't allow them to occupy your thoughts without paying rent. Continue to make progress with a positive mindset. Direct your energy towards inspiring others, rather than paying attention to critics. Your achievements will be evident and undeniable. Having the right mindset allows you to grow stronger and develop more compassion in the face of negativity. You can understand more about them from their words. Stick to your principles, and no negative person can deter you from your goals. Unrestrained, intense hatred can cause significant harm, outweighing any potential benefits. It negatively affects our own well-being when we direct it towards others. Reframing our negative emotions can help us regain control over them. Take some time to carefully consider the underlying reasons behind your feelings of hatred. It often arises from unresolved emotions like anger, envy, or pain within yourself that are projected outward. The strong emotion might be directed in the wrong way or seem excessive for the situation. Strive to develop a sense of inner peace, wholeness, and compassion for yourself. This can assist in dispelling the illusory manifestations of hatred. Try to recognize the humanity in those you strongly dislike. It's important to understand that individuals who are hurting often, often end up hurting others. Understanding is gained through self-awareness. Find ways to channel your passion into activities that bring positivity, such as exercising, being creative, or getting involved in activism. Devoting our energy to positive endeavors helps to diminish the presence of negativity. Shift your focus towards creating a positive impact rather than harboring negative feelings towards others. Establish clear boundaries if necessary, but refrain from engaging in harmful behavior. Seeking revenge may temporarily satisfy one's hatred, but it also sets the stage for future conflicts. Let justice and karma take their natural course. Choose to rise above while safeguarding your inner radiance. As we invest time and effort, we can gradually release the grip of hatred and cultivate empathy and forgiveness. You can still criticize negative actions, but the intense fixation subsides. This lightness greatly benefits your overall well-being. Naturally, it takes time for deep wounds to heal. Even taking small steps to calm the fires of hatred can bring about peace. We all face challenges and difficult times at some point in our lives. By practicing self-awareness and taking care of yourself, you can prevent it from becoming a defining factor in your life. It's tempting to focus on negative stories from our past. We often find ourselves dwelling on hurtful events and exchanges, replaying them repeatedly in our minds. Continuously going over these stories does more harm than good in terms of healing. In order to achieve peace, it is necessary to break free from the cycle. Dwelling on distressing memories can prevent us from moving forward emotionally. We keep experiencing the same feelings of pain and resentment repeatedly. Meanwhile, we miss out on exciting opportunities and happiness in the present. 
Repetitive exposure to negative narratives can gradually distort our thinking. We often find ourselves adopting victim mentalities, assuming the worst in others, or accepting tragedy as inevitable. A repeated storyline shapes our reality. Reflection can be beneficial in processing trauma. However, there comes a moment when continuously revisiting troubling narratives hinders personal development. It's important to let go of anger and despair in order to move forward. Break the cycle by shifting your focus whenever negative thoughts arise. Keep your attention on the present moment. Explore a new hobby. Assist those who require help. Create a powerful new story about your life. Through practice, one can learn to reframe painful memories in more constructive ways. The brain creates new connections that weaken previous obsessive patterns. You appreciate the past while embracing the present. We can shape our sense of identity by taking control of our inner dialogues, avoiding being defined solely by tragedy. Focusing on our triumphs rather than our pain helps us find strength. Every day presents an opportunity to create a fresh chapter. Let go of the old negative narratives that are holding you back. Rediscover your passion and purpose. Changing the record in our minds has the power to transform our lives. The future is a blank canvas ready for us to paint a captivating story. George had always aspired to launch his own YouTube channel. However, many people dismissed it as a futile endeavor. His idea was met with ridicule from his friends. While his family urged him to prioritize college, George, determined, decided to give it a try, despite the skeptics. In the beginning, only a few individuals tuned in to his videos. However, George continued to explore different content ideas, determined to improve. Gradually, the number of his subscribers increased from a few to a hundred. However, negative comments began pouring in as well, mocking his appearance, his background, and urging him to find a different profession. Surprisingly, even his own friends who watched the channel had some harsh criticisms, referring to him as cringe. George's family became worried that the channel was taking away from his focus on school. They suggested that he focus on his degree instead of pursuing YouTube. It was quite painful to feel their disapproval. George was on the verge of quitting several times due to the negativity from haters. However, he took comfort in the encouragement from his supporters, who expressed that his videos brought joy to their day. He found inspiration to keep going by focusing on this community. The channel experienced consistent growth over several months. George refined his content and presentation style by incorporating valuable feedback. He valued constructive criticism and disregarded toxic comments. After a while, the channel blew up, surpassing even the number of subscribers his friends had. George's story caught the attention of media outlets, who then shared it with their audience. His family witnessed the direct impact he was making and wholeheartedly embraced his chosen path. Ultimately, unwavering determination in the face of criticism and self-doubt resulted in incredible achievements. George came to the realization that with determination and effort, one can accomplish anything, regardless of the presence of skeptics. Pursuing your vision is worthwhile. Lesson 4. Dealing with Fake People in life, you'll come across individuals who are not genuine or sincere. However, you have the power to minimize the impact of their insincerity on you. By being aware of their fakeness and establishing clear boundaries, one can reduce the influence of fake people. Learn to recognize the more nuanced indicators of insincerity, such as subtle embellishments, excessive name dropping excessive conformity and repetitive anecdotes or jokes. Pay attention to more than just the surface level of what people say and focus on any discrepancies between their actions and words. Rely on your gut feeling. It's important to recognize that fakeness is often a mask for insecurity. Some individuals attempt to gain validation 
by putting on a facade in order to boost their own self-esteem, show empathy towards their internal struggles, but don't get caught up in their outward displays. Approach with caution. Surround yourself with authentic individuals. Give importance to connections with people who are genuine. Phony individuals often latch on to genuine individuals to borrow their authenticity. It's important to be cautious when allowing people into your inner circle. Establish clear limits on the amount of access you provide to imposters. Kindly reject requests that only serve one's own interests. Provide them with surface, level niceties, while avoiding delving into personal matters. Exposing vulnerability can lead to exploitation. Do not anticipate individuals who are not genuine to acknowledge their lack of authenticity or alter their behavior. It can be frustrating to expect sincerity from those who are unable to offer it. Embrace the fact that you cannot manipulate authenticity. Just manage your own boundaries and reactions. Keep true to yourself and stay grounded in who you are. Deceptive individuals aim to draw you into their distortions and drama. However, you can maintain your authenticity by living with honesty. Your sincerity guards against their insincerity, influencing your mind and self-confidence. By exercising discernment and setting healthy boundaries, the impact of insincere individuals becomes less significant. Their true intentions become more apparent. You can quickly identify it and save time by expecting something genuine from them. You make sure to stay true to yourself. It can be quite frustrating to witness the success of individuals who are not genuine. Some individuals rely on manipulations and deceit to gain an advantage, leaving honest individuals to face difficulties. However, rest assured, pretending to be something you're not cannot be maintained in the long run. The truth always prevails, and those who deceive will face the consequences. Fraudsters put in significant effort to create false identities. However, keeping up a facade and pretending to be someone you're not can be mentally draining. The mask eventually falls off. Many individuals become aware of the harsh truth lurking beneath their facades. One's true self becomes apparent with the passage of time. When cracks start to show in their facade, fakes quickly lose credibility and trust. Their supporters leave them feeling betrayed. Flatterers boost their egos but disappear when the false facade collapses, find themselves isolated and vulnerable. Fakes lack a solid foundation if they lack genuineness at their core. Their false empires built on deceit and intimidation collapse. People who contributed to constructing their card houses quickly run away when they come crashing down. Everyone recognized the delicate facade for what it truly was. Some individuals may rise to power by using deceitful tactics, plagiarizing others' ideas, and engaging in manipulative schemes. However, taking the easy route often results in reaching a dead end. Failure and destruction frequently accompany their fleeting triumph. Meanwhile, authenticity remains timeless. Belief in genuine individuals grows consistently. They inspire and empower others by being genuine and honest rather than resorting to manipulation. This fosters genuine connections and establishes strong bases. So take faith when you see fakes thriving temporarily. Their inevitable downfall is drawing near as the consequences of their hollow achievements finally catch up with them. Authenticity brings rewards to individuals over time, leading to lasting achievement and fulfillment. Understanding life is akin to reading a book with various chapters. Certain sections include moments of heartbreak, setbacks, and pain. However, we have the opportunity to flip through those pages embarking on fresh chapters filled with personal development, meaning, and happiness. Every day, we have the opportunity to align ourselves with our true selves. The past may still be present, but the future holds the potential for a new story. This moment holds endless possibilities, like a blank page waiting to be filled.
how can we go about filling it? Are we seeing a continuation of the same old patterns and complacency? Or with exciting new journeys towards our own personal truths? When we dedicate ourselves to personal growth and finding fulfillment, our lives undergo a profound transformation. Taking small steps can lead to significant progress and growth over time. We slowly bring forth our best versions. Naturally, the journey has its highs and lows. Some chapters are more engaging than others. However, with perseverance, we can overcome challenges and discover new opportunities. As our understanding deepens, the top becomes clearer. Every compelling narrative showcases the challenges and victories of the human spirit. Heroes are created when they face challenging moments that test their bravery and integrity. Challenges enable us to let go of pretenses and tap into our true potential. However, we have the opportunity to make daily edits to our story. Every choice we make has the power to shape who we truly are. We have the power to decide. Where should we direct this storyline? Flip through those pages. Every day is like a fresh canvas, ready to be filled with music. Create your own original song. You are the main character in your own incredible story. Today signifies the beginning of an extraordinary new era. It's time for us to take action. Michelle was overjoyed when she secured a position as a designer at a renowned company. However, she soon discovered that her boss, Mulek, was creating a toxic work environment. Mulek frequently claimed Michelle's designs as his own, all the while openly criticizing her in front of their colleagues. Initially, Michelle believed she must be deserving of it. However, she observed that Mulek had a tendency to undermine others and even take credit for their ideas. She came to the realization that it had nothing to do with her, but rather his own insecurities and need to compete. When Michelle received an award, Mulek disregarded it as a result of a diversity hire initiative, rather than acknowledging her skills. He consistently redirected attention to himself through dishonesty and manipulation, rather than acknowledging and celebrating others' achievements. Michelle felt exhausted and filled with uncertainty while at home. She contemplated tolerating Mulek's insincerity in order to maintain her position. However, she was aware that she deserved more than suppressing her brilliance to satisfy his ego. Michelle began quietly sharing her portfolio with people in the area. In a matter of weeks, she received an incredible job offer from a competing company led by a truly inspiring and ethical leader. Handing Mulek her resignation was a moment of great pride in her career. Michelle thrived in her new role where she was encouraged to explore her most daring ideas. Her designs were highly praised for their innovative vision. Michelle's best qualities were brought out thanks to the support of a mentor who believed in her. After some time had passed, Michelle discovered that Mulek had been let go from his job due to his habit of taking credit for things he didn't deserve. Meanwhile, her reputation continued to soar. She came to the realization that having a strong character and believing in oneself are key factors for achieving long-term success. Michelle fully embraced her gifts by choosing to distance herself from anything fake. She found that achieving success was more satisfying when she remained true to herself and stayed authentic. Lesson 5. Dealing with Toxic People We've all encountered individuals who can be quite draining and detrimental to our overall well-being. However, although we cannot influence their actions, we have the power to determine our own reactions. By setting boundaries and limiting interactions, we can reduce the damage that toxic relationships cause. Identify the indicators of a toxic individual from the start, such as hostility, manipulation, dramatic outbursts, constant criticism, and actions that undermine your self-esteem. Listen to your instincts when someone consistently causes you to feel anxious, angry, or exhausted. Do not try to justify or make excuses for being treated poorly. Be cautious about disclosing excessive personal details to individuals who are toxic. 
It is possible that others may use it to your disadvantage. Keep conversations light and surface. Level to prevent giving them any material to use against you. Only share your authentic self with people you can trust. Construct your village with careful consideration. Do not anticipate that individuals who are toxic will change or improve the relationship through rational discussion. It can be frustrating to desire something that is out of reach or unavailable. It's important to recognize that we cannot compel others to prioritize their health. Don't let anyone guilt or pressure you into dealing with more toxicity than you can handle. Establish clear limits on the amount of access you grant to someone. Kindly refuse requests. Simplify and streamline the allocation of time and attention. There's no need to hold yourself responsible for the toxic behavior of others or believe that you can change them. You are not responsible for their issues. It is your sole responsibility to safeguard your light. Make your mental well-being and self-worth a top priority. Testing our limits and emotional resilience can be challenging. We demonstrate our value by removing anything that negatively affects our well-being. Life improves significantly when toxic individuals are removed. You deserve a sense of tranquility. You are not responsible for their toxicity. Their problems arise from their own unaddressed pain, insecurities, and traumas. Not anything you are responsible for. You have no control over their emotions and behaviors. They are solely responsible for them. They are beyond your control or ability to fix. No matter how much effort you invest, it's impossible to compel individuals to alter their harmful behaviors. Healing is most effective when individuals decide to confront their deepest wounds and find strength from within. Establishing boundaries does not mean giving up on them. Protecting your mental health involves setting boundaries with toxic individuals without passing judgment on them. It's important for individuals to take ownership of their lives, just like you do with yours. No one has the right to mistreat you without your permission. Our tolerance levels shape how others perceive and interact with us. Allowing toxicity to persist only perpetuates the problem. Everyone should be treated with respect. Understanding the value of your energy is crucial. Spending time on toxic connections hinders your personal growth. Focus on nurturing relationships that give and receive love. It's their toxicity, not yours. It is common for toxic individuals to deflect their own problems onto others. However, the negative way they treat others is a result of their own personal struggles. Don't overthink it. It is important to recognize and value your own self-worth. Even when faced with negativity, remember that your worth cannot be diminished without your permission. It is up to you to determine your worth. You should experience peace and joy. Don't ever settle for toxicity as something that's unavoidable or that you have to put up with. You will encounter kind-hearted individuals who will greet you with love. You can choose to leave if you want. It is important to prioritize the well-being of your spirit above all else. You are not accountable for, nor can you rectify, those who are unwilling to rectify themselves. Lesson 6 the best revenge is to forget past hurt. It's only natural to feel a desire for revenge when someone has hurt or offended us. However, seeking revenge often leads to negative consequences. Finding healing doesn't involve seeking revenge, but rather moving forward and leaving negativity in the past. Letting go of past hurts can be a powerful way to move forward. Attempting to get back at someone usually makes the situation worse instead of finding a solution. The cycle of pain and counterattack perpetuates, resulting in an ongoing drama. However, opponents often find indifference more frustrating than any deliberate act of spite. It suggests that their words did not have a long-term effect. When we focus on seeking revenge, we remain trapped in the mindset of a victim, constantly reopening old wounds. 
We often find ourselves expending unnecessary energy dwelling on past offenses instead of focusing on building a brighter future. Why continue to endure the pain when we have the power to free ourselves by looking ahead? Forgiving does not imply making excuses for bad behavior or allowing people back into your life. It means letting go of the hatred we hold in our hearts. By releasing resentment, you create room for joy to come back into your life. The lack of concern we show towards our past tormentors is a greater punishment than seeking revenge. When we stop giving someone our attention, it sends the message that they are no longer on our minds. This severs their control over us. We refuse to give them the pleasure of continued anguish. Forgetting has a unique way of helping us reconnect with our true selves. We can let go of the painful events, and they no longer have a strong emotional hold on us. We focus our energy on the present moment rather than dwelling on the past. Living boldly and happily, free from past burdens, is the ultimate form of revenge. We often find solace in removing the remnants of those who have caused us pain from our existence. We prioritize the positive future we have created, without allowing any negativity to overshadow it. Forgetting they ever mattered is the ultimate payback. When someone has wronged us, it's tempting to want payback through harming them. But the healthiest revenge is becoming superior to our oppressors by living an extraordinary life they can't reach. Their worst nightmare is our happiness and success. Rather than expending energy on bitterness, channel that passion into self-growth. Let anger fuel motivation for positive change. Outshine your enemies not through attacking them, but by developing the best version of yourself. Pour your effort into nurturing your talents and gifts. Embrace ambitious goals that seemed impossible before. Achieve professional heights they said you couldn't. Build a rich web of fulfilling relationships after betrayal. Construct a life of joy they don't deserve to share in. Soon their attacks will bounce off the powerful sense of self-worth you've cultivated. Strong boundaries will prevent their toxicity from infecting your psyche. You won't need closure from them to heal, for your own actions have brought peace. While they wallow in hatred, you beam positive energy to uplift others. Their remarks once stung, but now barely register because you value yourself beyond their shallow perceptions. You've outgrown their influence. Your happiness and success... Speak for themselves. There's no need to flaunt riches or communicate with oppressors once outshined. Your light simply dims theirs by its brilliant glow. This precision of purpose is the greatest revenge. So don't despair when wronged. Manifest an extraordinary life that towers over the shadows. The sweetest payback is the happiness they wanted to steal from you blossoming even greater instead. You've already won by refusing to be defined by their limitations. Shine bright. Lesson 7. Healing takes time. When faced with emotional or psychological pain, many of us seek quick solutions and immediate relief. However, genuine healing usually takes place gradually, requiring consistent time and effort. It's a straightforward process that just requires some patience, self-compassion, and taking small steps forward. And that's perfectly fine. It's important to remember that wounds that are created quickly often require more time to heal correctly. Regeneration, whether it's physical or mental, requires a series of steps including rest, diagnosis, treatment, and rehabilitation. Similar to how a broken bone takes time to heal, emotional recovery also has its own unique timeline. Make sure to set aside regular time to acknowledge and process your emotions, such as grief, anger, loss, and hurt, without being too hard on yourself. It's important to allow emotions to flow through us in order to create room for peace. Make sure to take time each day for moments of reflection and release. Appreciate the little steps forward, not just the final outcome. 
Even short notice periods can bring relief, allowing old patterns to loosen and clarity to expand. Healing gradually reveals itself through numerous small moments of progress. Make sure to prioritize self-care by getting enough sleep, eating well, staying active, and practicing mindfulness. Building a strong foundation is crucial for long-term recovery, surpassing any temporary solutions. I believe in your ability to navigate this journey, no matter how long it may take. You may encounter obstacles along the way, but rest assured that you will navigate through them and continue moving forward. Understanding the process of healing can be quite complex. Trust that each step brings you closer to a brighter future, and new beginnings lie ahead. Reaching the destination may require effort, but the journey helps us grow and improve. You're making progress in your healing process, just as expected. It can be challenging to move forward when burdened by the pain of the past. However, true healing occurs when we let go of past narratives and instead focus on creating a positive vision for our future. Looking ahead is how we liberate ourselves. Continuously dwelling on what we could have done differently or how things could have gone only keeps us trapped. We continuously revisit scenes, ensuring that wounds remain raw instead of allowing them to heal. Overthinking only prolongs the pain. Certainly, reflections and accountability are valuable for processing and learning. However, there reaches a moment when dwelling on the past becomes a way to avoid facing the present. We often find ourselves clinging to familiar roles and identities instead of exploring our true potential. Healing is most effective when we actively redirect our energy towards a more positive and uplifting path, leaving behind the pain's origin story. Releasing positions, relationships, and environments that are still connected to past pain may be necessary. Once you recognize the influence of the past, start intentionally crafting a fresh and courageous narrative for the future. Express it by highlighting the goals you've accomplished, the risks you've embraced, and the new communities you've become a part of. Mask the pain with layers of positivity. Have confidence that you possess everything necessary for this empowering future within you. At this very moment, you have gained valuable wisdom and resilience from your experiences, which will help you reinvent yourself with joy. The story unfolds naturally as you experience it. Whenever your mind wanders, gently guide it towards envisioning the future. How would you like your days to be? What kind of atmosphere do you want to experience? What kind of person will you transform into? Healing comes from the realm of possibility rather than being born out of tragedy. When we shift our focus towards hope, the burden lightens. By taking gradual and deliberate actions, we reclaim control over our own story. Starting fresh chapters in life enables us to leave regret behind and embrace a renewed sense of purpose. Evan has been coping with anxiety and depression since childhood, but he has always minimized its impact in order to pursue his dreams. His aspiration was to become a doctor and provide healing to those in need. Nevertheless, following two unsuccessful attempts at gaining admission to medical school, his mental well-being plummeted. Despite his parents' encouragement to continue pushing himself, Evan recognized the importance of taking a break to gather his thoughts. He began incorporating therapy, meditation, and self-care practices into his routine. Initially, he experienced guilt, but he soon found relief from the fog of depression by prioritizing his mental well-being. Evan found new paths by prioritizing his own healing. He made the choice to pursue a career as a counselor, aiming to support teenagers facing mental health challenges, just as he had experienced. He returned to school, obtained his license, and secured a position at a youth clinic. Evan discovered that this career brought him a much deeper sense of fulfillment, even though he had decided not to pursue becoming a doctor. He transformed the setbacks that once crushed his self. It teemed into vital lessons that shaped his purpose. Evan quickly gained a reputation for his compassionate nature, 
his ability to remain calm, and his wise guidance for teenagers. Students who had experienced bullying, anxiety, and trauma found solace in connecting with Evan as they shared similar mental health challenges. They felt completely understood. Evan discovered that true personal growth often requires taking a moment to pause and reflect rather than constantly striving forward, as society suggests. With time, opportunities arise when we embrace our true selves. Evan discovered his true calling through the process of healing. He came to understand that success is not driven by ego, but by aligning one's work with purpose. Evan grew to appreciate his reflection in the mirror, feeling content with his authentic self. Lesson 8. The Meaning of Self-Love People often use the phrase, love yourself casually. But understanding the true meaning of unconditional self-love and acceptance can be a complex concept. Understanding our true value goes hand in hand with cultivating a profound sense of self-love, which extends far beyond seeking validation from others. It allows us to fully express our talents. Understanding yourself is the first step towards self-love. Take note of the patterns in your self-talk, reactions, and priorities. Discover hidden insecurities, fears, or shame. Make them more accessible and understandable. Developing a deeper connection with your inner world cultivates a greater sense of compassion. Embrace imperfection. Perfectionism hinders us from fully embracing our human nature. Appreciate the idiosyncrasies and peculiarities that make you wonderfully one, of a kind. It's important to let go of any mistakes you've made in the past. Your spirit is stifled by criticism, but amplified by self-acceptance. Release any negative beliefs you may have about your own worthiness. Your worthiness is inherent, solely based on your existence, rather than what you accomplish. When we constantly compare ourselves to others, we tend to overlook our own unique talents that are waiting to be expressed. Your life is the ultimate standard. Embrace your truths with confidence. Discover and express your true self through meaningful work, personal style, hobbies, and advocacy, without seeking validation from others. Your unique soul signature has the power to bring enrichment to the world. Diminishing it suppresses your radiance. Surround yourself with people who appreciate your inner light. Strong relationships mirror our truest and most positive qualities. Sever connections with individuals or circumstances that promote a limited mindset. Establish clear boundaries with a compassionate yet resolute approach. Understanding yourself, including your flaws, can enhance your ability to love yourself. You no longer rely on others to fill the empty spaces within you. You have an abundance that you can share with others, allowing your generosity to flow freely. Love possesses an eternal ability to constantly renew itself. Discovering a profound love for oneself can awaken dormant talents and abilities. You unlock your complete potential. Embrace the power of love and let it flow through you, beginning with cherishing the beauty within your soul. Truly embracing self-love goes beyond simply maintaining a constant state of positivity. Self-love is rooted in accepting oneself, embracing our human nature, and treating ourselves with kindness instead of criticism. Here are a few methods to cultivate unconditional self-love. It's important to let go of any mistakes you've made in the past. We've all made mistakes or had imperfections at some point. However, criticizing your previous self only leads to feelings of shame and self, disapproval. It's important to show empathy towards your past self. Understanding the importance of forgiveness can lead to personal growth. Embrace your flaws. Striving for perfection can be draining and demoralizing. Embrace the beauty of imperfection from time to time. Mistakes and idiosyncrasies are what make you wonderfully human. Focus on making progress rather than striving for perfection. Discover the brilliance within you. Instead of fixating on your flaws, take note of your vibrant talents that are eager to be expressed. 
you are greater than the wounds and failures you have experienced. Take a moment to think about your creativity, aspirations, skills, and ability to bounce back. What is your aura like? Avoid comparing yourself to others. Your own past self is the only benchmark that truly matters. By refraining from comparing yourself to others, you can fully embrace and appreciate your own individual journey of personal development without any harsh judgments. Let go of self-criticism. Stop fixating on your mistakes or flaws. Speak to yourself as you would to a close companion, with kindness and empathy. The way you talk to yourself affects how you see your own value. Surround yourself with people who appreciate your natural glow. Building strong relationships allows us to see the best versions of ourselves. Avoid spending too much time with individuals who make you feel inferior. Embrace relaxation and enjoyment. Allow yourself to recharge by finding joy, taking time for relaxation, and spending quality moments with those you care about. Lightness of being is not something that needs to be earned. Developing a strong connection with your authentic self, embracing all your flaws and imperfections, will enhance your ability to love yourself. You no longer rely on others to feel complete as you have a sense of wholeness within yourself. Embrace self-love completely. Many people mistakenly associate loving oneself with selfishness or self-centeredness. On the contrary, when you put in the effort to love yourself unconditionally, it allows you to genuinely love others from a place of completeness. When we don't address our past wounds, we tend to look for love outside of ourselves to fill the voids and insecurities we feel inside. However, this can result in inadvertently depleting the energy of others without ever addressing the underlying issues. Healing begins by turning inward. Incorporating various self-care practices like therapy, journaling, mindfulness, and exercise can assist us in working through past pain and negative beliefs ultimately leading to self-acceptance. This helps establish a solid sense of self-worth. Our love flows effortlessly from a place of abundance, radiating outward. We no longer depend on others to fulfill us. Validation does not determine our happiness. Anyone has the ability to let their inner light shine. Sharing love from a place of fullness allows us to cultivate greater empathy, patience, and compassion. Our relationships become more independent and less reliant on each other. We can support others' perspectives without expecting anything in return. When you truly prioritize self-love, you become less inclined to accept toxic behavior from others due to a sense of scarcity. You establish boundaries thoughtfully, recognizing that your own wholeness is all you truly require. When we prioritize self-care, we can heal our wounds and eventually give to others from a place of genuine joy. You can truly inspire and support others once you have taken the necessary steps to heal yourself. Sharing your authentic self with the world is a priceless gift. Doing this helps to elevate the overall energy. Others find it easy to love themselves completely when they are around you. Self-love is the ultimate form of love. Lesson 9. Care for your mental health. Putting our own well-being at the bottom of our to-do list is a common tendency. However, failing to prioritize our mental well-being can lead to significant repercussions such as burnout and the deterioration of personal and professional relationships. It's important to prioritize our mental well-being so that we can be fully present for others. Taking care of your mental well-being enables you to thrive and be your optimal self. Begin by honestly tuning into your emotions and patterns. It's important to pay attention to signs of declining mental health, such as anger, sadness, loneliness, or feeling disconnected from joy. Allow room for your emotions instead of suppressing them. If necessary, consider seeking professional assistance. Prioritize self-care as an essential part of your routine. 
make sure to prioritize giving your mind the rest and renewal it needs to thrive, whether through exercise, meditation, enjoying nature, or taking days off. Burnout is unproductive for everyone involved. Establish clear limits on your availability to avoid draining your energy. Master the art of confidently declining without feeling guilty. Overcommitting can lead to feelings of resentment and reduced effectiveness. Surround yourself with individuals who genuinely care about your well-being rather than those who are solely interested in benefiting from you. Spend less time with people who are more takers than givers. Be mindful when selecting a community. Give yourself positive affirmations. Focus on the positive aspects instead of fixating on perceived imperfections. Be kind and compassionate to yourself, just like you would be to a dear friend. The impact of your inner voice on your mental health is significant. Keep in mind that you can't give what you don't have. By prioritizing the well-being of our minds, we can cultivate the strength and happiness necessary to effectively assist others. Prioritize your mental health. You are valuable. Regardless of how much you've overlooked taking care of your emotional and psychological well-being, it's always possible to begin making your mental health a priority. Start cultivating your mind immediately. Don't waste time regretting not addressing mental health earlier. You cannot alter the past. Choose to break free from old habits and patterns. Now is the time to prioritize your health. Naturally, it takes time and patience to properly heal old wounds. However, the moment you wholeheartedly embrace the path of self-care, you will experience immediate relief. Always remember that you are worthy of peace and happiness regardless of your past. Begin by incorporating simple activities into your routine, such as meditation, journaling, spending time in nature, or setting up regular catch-ups with friends who provide support. Develop and grow from what sustains you in the long run. When consistency and compassion align, momentum builds. Release any beliefs that suggest prioritizing your own needs is selfish or excessive. Everyone deserves care and attention simply by virtue of their existence. This myth has been perpetuated by a society that stigmatizes mental health. However, your needs are important. If you encounter any obstacles such as financial barriers, try thinking outside the box. There are numerous resources available at no cost or for a lower price that can help with healing, such as support groups and books at books. If you have determination, you can find a solution. Recognize the immense bravery required to confront your pain head, on in order to overcome it. This task may present some challenges, but it is still more manageable than living in a state of numbness. You possess the power to make a profound change in your life. Regardless of your age or current situation, prioritizing your mental health is the first step towards a more fulfilling and happier life. Now is the perfect time to shape a new future, as the present is a precious gift. You can do it. Shift. Lesson ten. Start new chapter ahead. It's important to prioritize our own well-being by distancing ourselves from people or environments that no longer support our personal growth. Beginning new chapters may be intimidating, but freeing ourselves from toxic influences allows us to thrive. Assess the relationships and environments that may be depleting your energy and well-being. Pay attention to the relationships focused on conflict rather than mutual support. Determine if you are making progress or staying stagnant on a daily basis. It's important to show compassion towards yourself and others, even when harm is being done. Often toxicity arises from unresolved wounds rather than any deliberate ill will. However, the pain that is anticipated still affects you, necessitating the need for some distance. Recognize the importance of forming attachments, even in unhealthy relationships. Departing may evoke a range of intricate feelings. Take the time to give yourself room to grieve and process this transition with mindfulness. 
turn to trustworthy friends for guidance and assistance. Let go of roles, belongings, and traditions that no longer align with your personal truths. Simplify your life for new opportunities. Leave with appreciation for the knowledge gained while firmly shutting the door. Embrace the potential in uncertainty. Open spaces are where new growth flourishes, unrestricted by limiting roots. Take a sigh of relief as restrictions begin to ease. Embrace fear, but allow courage to guide you. Start creating your next chapter, characterized by joyful self-expression and building new connections. May it be filled with valuable insights and profound empathy. Write it with clarity and awareness. Just keep in mind that the universe has unconditional love for you no matter what. There is a clear purpose for your presence in this world. You came into existence from stardust, awakened to witness the incredible marvels of the cosmos. You came into existence out of countless possibilities. What are the odds being alive is like winning the ultimate cosmic lottery? It is evident that you are important. Your unique existence has value. Every moment you are embraced by the vastness of the universe. Have you ever considered the depth of love that surrounds you? You exist even when you don't perceive it. Embrace the beauty of life's little pleasures. Sharing laughter with friends, basking in the sun's warmth, and experiencing music that sends shivers down your spine. Understanding life's subtle messages requires attentive listening. Love persists even in the gloomiest of seasons, ready to be rekindled when you come back. A current that flows continuously, regardless of whether it is received or not. Just remember to receive again. Difficulties in life are not meant to be punitive, but rather to help us grow and gain clarity by removing false perceptions and uncovering the truth. Your truth is incredibly beautiful. Remain and watch as the obstacles separating you from love fade away. No matter how far you may have wandered, you deserve to be loved unconditionally just for being here. There is no obligation for you to repay the universe. This is where your light belongs. Final lesson, mental health. As we reach the end of this journey together, remember that prioritizing mental health is a lifelong process full of ups and downs. There may be times when past patterns resurface or you lose motivation, but have faith you now have the tools and inner resilience to get back on track. This work takes courage, but the rewards are profound. With consistent practice, you'll move through pain into purpose, wisdom, and lasting happiness. Rather than fighting or judging parts of yourself, you'll integrate them into a harmonious whole. Your experiences have given you empathy and strength to achieve things someone with an easy life likely couldn't. Let these gifts nurture others. Share your story to help those silently suffering feel less alone. But also rest and celebrate for you've done the difficult work of saving yourself. Don't forget to enjoy the lightness that comes from shedding old weights. Let your renewed spirit soar freely. Your days ahead are a blank canvas to paint vividly with bold brushstrokes. This art takes focus, but remember perfectionism stifles joy. Simply create fearlessly. What matters is the beauty of your authentic expression. May you look back at the person you were with, loving kindness. May you look forward to the person you'll become with hope. And may you live fully in the present, knowing you are enough.